I'm trying something new today. Uh, I'm trying a little bit different. Oh my God, I'm so like in the center. I don't like that. Ooh, damn. Look at that sunlight. Icelandic campsites. There's nothing wrong with them really um, but sometimes you have to pay extra for it or they're a bit dirty or there's a timer on it and um, I, pre I prefer actually to go to the Icelandic swimming pools. Every every town has a swimming pool that's heated by geothermal energy or geothermal waters. doesn't cost too much and uh, it's a nice way of, uh, you know, getting a shower. Fortunately, I can't take you with me there because ice and experiment pools don't like you to bring in phones and cameras. I like that. Nobody's on their phone. And that time that you're in the swimming pool, you're just like, ah, oh, you're disconnected and it feels good. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna go to the swimming pool, freshen up a little bit. Time for uh, some coffee. I think you found the right spot for that. Let's go. pushed me to go out this weekend to get out was the Formula Off-Road event. It's the first of the season and I believe it's like the biggest one. I've, I've been there a couple of years ago. Yeah, it was a good reason to uh, to get out of town. I missed the first part of the event, the most exciting part actually, where they uh, drive up the canyon walls and uh, jump over the edges or roll down back into the canyon if they fail. I did catch the other two parts of the event where they drive over the water, which is pretty exciting. In the past, I've seen some cars die in the middle of the water crossing, but that didn't really happen this time. The last part is like a very muddy track. I missed that. Last time I, I was at the event, um, so it was exciting to see that this time, and that's usually where everyone gets stuck. And everyone gets super dirty, and that's sort of the end of the day. Thank you. 
can see him still trying to figure things out. It's a nice way of sitting outside, a little bit protected, but I still have to figure out this shit. Um, it's a huge mess. into the back of the car yesterday night just felt felt so good felt so right um, like I really enjoy car camping I've done it quite a lot now I've actually lived for seven months in my Land Rover Defender cruising around Iceland a couple more periods mostly in the summer where I was basically living in the Land Rover it's the same feeling even though the Land Rover was a lot bigger of a car, a bigger camping setup. You know, I had my little kitchen set up and I had like a couch slash bed and everything, a lot more space. It's it's the same feeling though. Uh, climbing in the back of this car is, yeah. That feeling from then comes back and it's a space I really like to be in. It's, uh, it's a comfortable space because it's my, my space. And it's my my little house on wheels that can go everywhere. Uh, my house is everywhere, and I could also opt for like a big, you know, camping car or a big trailer. But that's never going to be the same because then you're not so flexible moving around. You know, when I'm not camping in the back or sitting in the back, it's just the car. I'm just driving around the car. I don't know. I think this is alright. Let's get the f out of here. 